Hello lovely people Welcome to the Study Abroad channel And in the Study Abroad channel what we do is that We help you We give you the necessary information that's, that's required for you to successfully gain admission uh, To your dream university And also have the chance to experience studying abroad. A bit about myself So uh, my name is Chinobu Akudia You can call me TK And I've studied abroad for the past 8 years and throughout these eight years, I have guided quite a number of students about um, on their on their study abroad journey. So we are going to talk about um, how the application process, how it goes, and how you're going to prepare, as well as scholarship availabilities, and then uh, writing let, uh, motivation letter or statement of purpose. And then once you also get admission, we wouldn't leave you there. We are also going to talk about how to prepare for the interview and secure your visa or your resident permit and finally uh, settling into the university of choice after that after graduation the next step whether you're going to continue the education or find a job or integrate into the society we are going to have all these kind of discussions in this channel so if the channel it's if that topic is very interesting to you just subscribe to the study abroad channel or share for your friends to uh, also have this information that we are going to share with you guys hello my lovely people so in today's episode we are going to look at um, a university in one of the cities in finland here which is tampere tampere it's one of the most beautiful cities you can um, come across in finland it's factually the second largest city in Finland. So we are going to explore um, how the application process goes and the scholarships which are available for the University um, of Tampere. So as usual, I'll go to the console and then show you the screen how we go about this. Thank you and see you. Hello guys once again welcome to the channel and today we have a very interesting school that we are look, we're going to look at as far as its application is concerned it's the Tampere, Univers uh, Tampere University or University of Tampere so I start by going to the web page here by typing tuni.fi that is the page and as you can see we are here this is a consortium let me change it to english so this is a cons this web page it's for two universities the tampere university of applied science as you can see from here and then the tampere university but today we are going to concentrate on tampere university so let's go to the tampere university and see uh, the kind of courses that they have for us so i click on the tampere university and we are here at their home page and as you can see there are so many information that we can find from here not all of them are applicable to us so let's go straight to um, the studies at uh, Tampere University if if I click on this and we are here now you can see that there is an option for bachelor's programs uh, there is an option for master's programs here as you can see and as well as those people who are so interested in doctoral studies there's also an option for you to choose from now let's quickly glance through some of the courses that one can see from the bachelor's uh, level um, so let me open this in another tab and let me go there straight away and as you can see, as you can see, the available um, bachelor's programs currently at Tampere University are these. So there's a combined bachelor plus master's. So it's a three year bachelor's plus a two year master's. So that's why we have here the, oh, so let me go back. That's why we have the plan duration to be three plus two years so 180 credits for bachelor's and 120 credit for master's so that's a combined one 
and the name of the course is Technology Sustainable Urban Development. Similar thing here, there's a Social Sciences Sustainable Urban Development, uh, both bachelor's and master's degree program available at Tampere University. You can also see the Administrative Sciences Sustainable Urban Development. Um, when we come to early childhood education, as you can see, it's just a bachelor's program. And for this, the plan duration, it's only three years with a total accumulated uh, study per credits of 180 ECTs. Similarly, we have um, the computing and electrical engineering courses, which is also uh, both bachelor's and master's combined here as well, as well as natural sciences and mathematics. So as you can see, there is very limited uh, bachelor's, solely bachelor's degree courses um, at the University of Tampere. Now let's go back to the master's programs that they have at the uh, University of Tampere. So you can see here, and if, if I click on this, then it sends me straight away to the master's programs. And these are, they, these are they've, they've grouped them under various um, faculties. So when we're talking about the faculty of built environment, we have structural engineering, master of science in structural engineering, sustainable transport and sustainable architecture. When you come to the Faculty of Education and Culture, we have Teaching, Learning, and Media Education, Master of Arts in Teaching, Learning, and Media Education. For, at the Faculty of Engineering and Natural Sources, um, the courses that are available include uh, Factory Automation and Robotics, Environmental Engineering, Engineering Material Sciences, and photonics technologies that's going to be quite very interesting uh, uh, masters master studies to have when we come to the faculty of medicine and health technology as you can see already uh, biomaterials tissue and engineering courses biomedical micro and nano devices health technology and informatics and finally biomedical technology so when you click on each of these uh, courses, if they are applicable to, if they are relevant to you, or you studied at the bachelor, just click on it, and the page will open for you, and you have the ability to read the contents of of each of these programs. Now we go to the Faculty of Information Technology and Communication Studies, best, best, one of the best faculties, I think. As you can see, data science is hot topic there. Data science, there's a Master of Science in Data Science, HTI, Human Technology Interactions. Unfortunately, for the second one, there is no intake in 2023. However, for the first one, it's possible to have it here. Notwithstanding, there are other equal important ones there signal processing and machine learning, that's Master of Science in Technology, as well as a master of science in software web and cloud so and the same course software web and cloud where there's a master of science in technology that is where there's no intake the same thing applies to the human technology interaction the role master of science they are taking however the master of science in technology for human technology in interactions uh, the upcoming year they are not going to take any students statistical data analysis and analytics courses also there. Power electronics, smart grids, game studies, sustainable digital life, life lifestyle, embedded systems. If I go to faculty of management and business, European and global politics. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I can continue to read all of this. A lot of courses that you can choose from public policy, gender studies, comparative social policy, and what have you, peace, mediation, and conflict research. So I will encourage you guys, I will send a link uh, in the YouTube description, I will encourage you guys to go and check which of them are suitable for you. Just go there and then um, read more uh, about the course and 
apply. So we have looked at the courses, the few courses in the bachelor's, co uh, bachelor's programs which are being run by uh, the University of Tampere and we have looked at uh, the master's uh, studies as well. Now, 